What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering. Oh, you just hate to see it. You just hate to see Disney Plus missing huge subscriber uh, projections by many millions and losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Make sure that, you know, if you're going to lose sleep tonight over this, make sure you click that like button on the video. And by the way, if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet, Please, I hope today will be the day that I earn your subscription. There's a red subscribe button down in the lower right-hand corner um, below the video. Uh, please do click it or whatever platform you happen to be watching on. Please do consider subscribing there. Now, a couple of reports came out yesterday out of Disney's earnings uh, numbers, and their revenue dropped by over $600 million in the second quarter, as well as some disastrous Disney Plus numbers. Let's take a look. Disney CEO Bob Chappick prefaced the report by saying, we're pleased to see more encouraging signs of recovery across our business and we remain focused on ramping up our operation while also fueling long-term growth for the company. Now, I want to take a minute to remind my viewers that Disney had until busted uh, in place some absurd um, uh, uh, critical race theory training uh, in training their employers about uh, white guilt employees sorry their chorizo stand and frozen banana workers had to learn about um, white privilege and uh, you know by all indications Disney hates their actual customers so you know I, I know that if you have kids and they're you know it's not always easy to continue to uh, you know fight the fight sometimes your kids just want to go to disneyland or sometimes they just want to see that new pixar movie and that's okay life goes on you've got to pick your battles but it's good to see uh some uh, uh actual negatives coming out of this now he added this clearly reflects is clearly reflected in the opening of our theme parks and resorts increased production at our studios and continued success of our streaming services blah 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 at the end of the first quarter disney reported they earned a revenue totaling 16.2 billion dollars with 12.6 billion coming from disney media and entertainment distribution and 3.5 from disney parks in contrast their recently released second quarter numbers detailed total revenue from the quarter dropped to 15.6 billion the disney media and entertainment distribution segment revenue of 12.4 billion and disney parks experiences down to 3.1 that means disney revenue decreased 636 million in the second quarter not only did they decline 636 million from the first quarter to the second quarter but they declined 2.4 billion from the second quarter of 2020 which is interesting because the second quarter of 2020 we were basically in still in full lockdown mode across the world uh across the country and uh i you know i don't really uh it's hard to imagine that, honestly. Theaters were closed. They're starting to reopen now. Uh, so definitely slowing down. And we covered earlier some bad news around Shang-Chi and the Eternals essentially looking to be banned uh, in China, which is going to cost them hundreds of millions in projected revenue as well. While well, Disney's rev overall revenue uh, declined $636 million between first and second quarter, they did see gains in their direct-to-consumer segment, which does include Disney+. Plus. In their first quarter, they posted a revenue of $3.5 billion with direct D2C segment. In the second quarter, they increased to $3.99. That means their direct-to-consumer saw about a $500 million increase. It's crazy because these numbers are are just so huge and mammoth that it's like oh well is disney crumbling well no but uh this is a pretty uh disastrous report specifically disney plus reported that subscribers increased from to 103.6 million at the end of the second quarter that's an increase of 8 million from the end of the first quarter where they posted they had 94.9 million now we don't really know what percentage of these are paid what percentage of these are like free with because I know like if you have T-Mobile or maybe, you know, various cell phone providers were offering uh, either it included or free trials. So we don't really know what the number of paid subscribers. However, Motley Fool's James Brunley claims the growth marks the slowest pace of quarterly additions since the streaming service launched in the final quarter of 2019. He also notes that the 103.6 million number is well below expectations, which were at one point. Uh, 109 million so they missed their projection by about 6 million new subscribers uh, it's about half of what they expected 
Uh, while they did increase numbers, albeit at a slower rate, they also had a decrease in the average monthly revenue per paid subscriber. In the first quarter, average monthly revenue paid was $4.03. It declined to $3.99. Negligible, but you take that $0.04 cents over $100 million, you know, it's something. Uh, this decline also happened as Disney increased the monthly price from $6.99 to $7.99 in March. So the drop, they probably knew the drop was coming. So that's why they increased the price uh, in Disney Plus to help offset that. But it was clearly uh, much more than four cents uh, before that. Overall, Disney reported that net income for the quarter was $900 million. That's up from the first quarter when it was only $17 million. The increase comes from reduced costs and declined from 14.1 billion to, from 15.9. Following their second quarter results, Disney stock has declined almost 4% as of writing this. Uh, so obviously the stock reacted appropriately. Disney stock price takes a hit uh, after Disney Plus subscribers grow more slowly than expected. Now, has it made a recovery today? Probably. People like to buy the dip. No, it hasn't. Um, it's actually down significantly from 185 on monday it's climbing back up to 173 but it's still down uh what you know at least ten dollars a share so almost a full five percent um it's a lot uh the the idea that you see here disney shares slide as company is quote in the middle of a recovery i actually think that long term uh we're going to see more pullback here uh, <clears throat> because Americans are getting sick uh, of, of Disney's garbage. Now, look, what percentage of Americans are really tuned in to the like identity politics that are involved with Disney? A couple million. I mean, I suppose if you watch Fox News at night, which is not a small group, you're aware of it. Uh, are you motivated enough to cancel your Disney Plus subscription like I did when uh, they fired Gina Carano? You know, I'm not going to judge somebody for wanting to, you know, enjoy some things. Obviously, there are many ways that you can enjoy what Disney has to offer without giving them money. But this is on the back of Marvel's Eternal and Shang-Chi movies may not release in China due to backlash. The backlash to behind the scenes talent and casting may keep the Eternals and Shang-Chi away from playing in Chinese cinemas this year. We talked about this yesterday. In a report from Variety CCTV6, China Movie Channel ran a report of the MCU Phase 4 films and listed 8 of the 10 scheduled in the report but left out both Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and the Eternals. While not an official confirmation that the films won't play in China, this adds fuel to the fire of speculation in in the wake of recent reports on both films. Giving way to this rumor is the fact that CCTV Six is under jurisdictions of China's propaganda department, which approves which films get released. Now, I'm not going to feel bad about. Marvel getting, uh, you know, because look, Disney has been chasing uh, the Chinese dollar for a very long time. Uh, and then you see here, this is after some backlash. Disney reportedly scrubs woke anti-racism training after backlash. Disney has reportedly deleted its diversity and inclusion training following a backlash when it became the, quote, wokest place on earth. The webpage that previously carried the much maligned internal training documents was down this week, replaced with a pardon our pixie dust message, according to Christopher Rufo, who first reported while tr uh, on the training, forcing staff to recognize their, quote, white privilege. Uh, Disney has removed the entire program from its company's internal portal, he wrote, effectively scrubbing it out of existence. This is a major victory uh, against the woke capital. I mean, I wouldn't disagree with that. Um, you know, they're all small victories, uh, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, because people will just want to go to Disneyland still. Um, I, I understand that. But, you know, you could give them less. This is what I talk about, you know, when we're talking about uh, like boycotting Chinese made products. Avoiding them entirely is almost impossible these days unless you dedicate your life to it. But taking a couple of W's along the way, you know, finding a product here or there that isn't made by them or that maybe you'd want to uh, 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 support as an alternative 
all takes a bite out of that economy. So, you know, when Disney comes out, maybe you see three or four Disney movies a year. Well, in this this year, maybe see one or two. Uh, maybe wait for them to uh, be free on TV. Um, you know, Disney Plus is another perfect example. Maybe you really want to watch The Mandalorian and you just you don't care about the Gina Carano thing. Okay, well, cancel or Disney Plus for every month that The Mandalorian's not out. Wait till The Mandalorian's over. Subscribe for a month. Watch the whole show, then unsubscribe. Uh, this is a valuable way to make sure they're taking the least amount of money uh, that you possibly can, that they possibly can, um, while still not going totally crazy and depriving your th your yourself of things you love. Um, or you could just skip it all together, which would also be fine. Uh, so good to see some W's this week. Disney taking a major hit. I hope that that continues in uh, the third quarter as it's summertime now and more things are opening up uh, and people's money is getting tighter due to insane inflation right now. So maybe more and more people will be canceling their Disney Plus to save that money every month. And I'm here for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.